In the wake of this massacre, we have seen an incredible outpouring of support for our community. Yeah, some trying to donate blood were turned away yesterday, but they're getting another chance this morning. News 6's Johnny Fernandez is live outside Mix 105.1 in Maitland. Johnny, the station, I understand, is hoping to get results today and get a lot of people out there to donate. Justin, that's right. Mix 105.1. They've teamed up with the Big Red Bus to give you guys at home another place to donate. Now, this after One Blood reached capacity yesterday and told people to continue to donate in coming in the next several days. Now, yesterday, thousands of people came out after One Blood urged people to donate in light of Sunday's tragedy. You can see lines wrapped around the center on Michigan Street, and also UCF students teamed up to to get results for the victims in this tragedy. One Blood said they were in an urgent need of O negative, O positive, and AB plasma donors. And despite being pushed away, many say that they'll be back. I'm really disappointed. Um, we, I've been standing in line for probably, I'd say an hour, hour and 15 minutes, and I really wanted to give because that's at least the smallest thing that I could do. Now the big red bus will start taking donations here starting at 8 o'clock this morning. Now the address is 1800 Penbrook Drive just across the street from the RVD Sports Complex. And something to keep in mind if you are thinking about donating is that you at least have to be 16 years old and weigh about 110 pounds. Now if you are not able to give blood, the big red bus, they will be accepting donations of things like sports drinks and orange juice. And if you have any information about donating, Donating blood, go ahead and give them a call. That number 18889 donate. And you can also go to clickorlando.com. We have all that information and much more. Justin Kirsten, back over to you. All right, Johnny, thank you so much.